Malaysia still has a bit of a way to go before it can manufacture its own vaccine. But here in this facility in Puchong, operated by Pharma Niaga, precious vials of the Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine are being churned out every single day. That is because this is where the bulk import of the Sinovac vaccine from China is being processed and bottled and is now being used in the rollout of the national COVID-19 immunization program. I was recently given a tour of the Pharma Niaga Life Science Facility in Puchong to see how the fill and finish of the Sinovac vaccine is done in Malaysia by PLS Head of Production Muhammad Ridwan Kalantamasta. Ridwan explained that the vaccine in bulk has to be stored in an envirotainer with a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius before they are transferred for bottling. So the main challenge is to set up this septic transfer process from the receiving bag of vaccine bulk that uh, we receive in and to transfer to a separate bag and from this uh, separate bag into the dosing vessel in our filling line. In short, it is a two-stage transfer process that requires all the solution to be uh, remain enclosed in the sterile tubings that we use until the transfer process is completed. Okay, so the main objective of fill and finish process is to ensure the sterility of the vaccine bulk is uh, maintained throughout the entire duration and this can take up to a maximum of 18 hours uh, completion uh, for a batch completion time. Each container of the Sinovac vaccine from China contains 200,000 doses filled inside a flexible plastic bag that is then put inside a locked stainless steel container which is then placed inside the cargo container and finally loaded into the aircraft. Out of all this, the innermost packaging being the plastic bag is only used once and is then discarded to prevent any form of contamination. That's not all. The silicone tubes that will begin the transfer of the precious vaccine from the shipping container to the machines here at Farmaniaga are also single use. It is then placed into a mixer and is then subsequently moved to the filling line where it is then filled into these cute little glass files. So is that it? Not quite. Okay, so the packaging process will start after the filling component is completed whereby all fill valve will need to undergo a 100% requirement of visual inspection and a leak detection process. Uh, we are utilizing a a set of high speed and high definition uh, cameras in order to capture visual images of the of the field valves uh, to check to visually detect for any uh, particles or any uh, cosmetic de defects at the same time this machine is also able to check uh, fill volume uh, of those valves to ensure uh, sufficient volume is being filled Okay, so leak detection is uh, being performed using a high voltage leak detection method. So this method allows us to, uh, to inspect uh, the integrity of the glass of these valves to ensure that there are no micro holes or pinholes. Okay, so together with these processes, we are able to achieve up to 200 per minute uh, rate uh, of uh, inspection rate. Not just that, once the vaccines are sealed and labelled, the manufacturing process is also equipped with a tamper-evident process to ensure the product's safety. Lastly, they will be stored in the cold room before they are dispatched to various vaccination centres. While it is called fill and finish, it really is more of a transfer, fill, test, test again and finish. Therefore, it is also a lengthy process. Tests are run on the finished vaccine to confirm the presence of the antigen for COVID-19 as well as the quantification of the antigen. Osmolarity and bacterial endotoxins are also tested. All in all, it takes approximately seven days to complete the finished product testing. It takes up to, up to one month in total time from the day the bulk of vaccine arrive in uh, Pharmanaga Life Science Puchung to the time that it is being administered into a patient's arm. And uh, this has been done uh, under continuous operation uh, that has been implemented in Pharmaonega Life Science whereby we are running 24 hours and uh, our main objective is to ensure the vaccine arrives at the PPV centres uh, safely and in a timely manner. This is the first human vaccine in history to be manufactured for fill and finish in Malaysia. Almost 3 million ringgit was invested into high-performance equipment in order to enable Farmaniaga Life Science Sindirian Berhad to step up to this task. Farmaniaga is expected to deliver 1.2 million doses of the Sinovac vaccine to the Malaysian government, sufficient to cover some 18% of Malaysia's population. Uh, the current uh, facility setup that we have here will be able to utilize in the future uh, to uh, produce or bottle 
uh, other vaccines or other medicines given that uh, approval from MPRA is obtained. As you can see, the simple process of transferring vaccines from a container into a bottle isn't as simple as it seems and it has to be under a very meticulous operation to ensure that there is no contamination from the time it arrives in this country to the time it is injected into somebody's arm. As more bottles continue to roll off the production line here at the Pharma Niaga facility in Puchong, it is your responsibility to get yourself registered to be vaccinated if you haven't done so already. Kita jaga kita everybody. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching.